Hi everybody! I'm doing a session for Bunny, the dog. It's a 15 minute session and I just did a session for Mauser the cat. So Bunny and Mauser live in the same household and this client is going on a trip. So the trip is going to be taking Bunny and Mauser in, in a, on a car ride over the course of a couple days and um, the sessions are to prepare the animals um, to feel safe in the experience, um, to kind of know what's coming, and to do any type of energy work that would help them to feel more comfortable in the experience. So one thing that was mentioned was that Bunny um, can get some anxiety from, from car rides, and a lot of panting um, can be very exhausting for Bunny. So I'm gonna go ahead and relax and um, get connected with Bunny. I'm gonna be putting links in the description, so if you're interested in Mauser the Cat's um, session, um, you can find a link there. So let me see. Let me see what Bunny's all about. I will say my head feels like super vibrational. I feel a lot of energy in my head. It's very tingly all over my head. There's literally nothing to look at and I feel like I'm in a dog's head but my eyes are closed. And my head's very tingly right now. I'm just chilling out. I mean, I feel like I'm laying down and I got not not a care or worry. I just I'm just I mean, I feel like I'm very relaxed and peaceful and I have no idea what is going to happen tomorrow. <laughs> so, I'm actually going to Bunny and I'm just giving Bunny a, a nice pet and I say, hello Bunny, I'm Abby. I want to let you know that you are going to be going on a road trip tomorrow. And Mauser is going to be there. What do you think about that? Just giving Bunny some love here. <sighs> Bunny is aware of the conversation here and is going into a, kind of a deep feeling place. Um, it's not like Bunny is uh, wanting to talk about that right now. It's almost like Bunny wants me to take a look at something else. It's totally not in the zone with this right now. It just wants me to look at something else. And there's definitely excitement, but there's something uh, vulnerable here. Like uh, um, it has to do with the heart. Just okay. This is this is kind of a, a this is more. All right. So when I touch the heart, there's like a turtle shell around it. It's very hard. Uh, it creates a lot of energy around the back of the head and some exhaustion here. Uh, a lot of exhaustion. And I feel like um, just taking the turtle shell off, but it seems to be stuck. Um, it's just like trying to take a turtle shell off a real turtle. You just simply can't do that. So I can't take it off from around the heart. Bunny says it feels stuffy in there. <laughs> That's what it's like. It's like, are you talking to me about car rides? Is that what you're telling me with these images? Now I'm starting to feel like um, stuffy, like it's too hot. I'm having a hard time breathing. Um, you had mentioned the panting. Um, it's just stuffy. He, he, um, Bunny keeps showing me that around the heart, um, it feels stuffy. And uh, it's kind of hard to breathe. I mean, I feel like I'm getting really hot right now. My skin is really getting hot. I relax this energy right on down. There's nothing more I really need to feel about this right now. So I'm just relaxing it. Okay, a lot of exhaustion still here in the heart. 
a lot more relaxed. I can actually breathe again, but it still feels like um, squished a bit by the turtle shell. Not so stuffy, but it just feels kind of squished. And I'm just touching the turtle shell with very gentle, loving hands. And for some reason, the heart looks like a chicken. Um, it looks like a plucked chicken. Full, full chicken. Does that mean that um, Bunny is alluding to being like a chicken, like a scaredy cat kind of thing? <laughs> We're dealing with a Mauser and a Bunny, and, and Bunny's the scaredy cat. Um, but I'm looking at this, and there's a chicken. The heart is a chicken. And the chicken gets smaller and smaller and smaller as I go to touch it. So small now, and it feels bony. I say, Bunny, you do not have a chicken for a heart. You don't have a turtle shell around your heart. Why are you creating these? Uh, why are you creating this? Bunny says, I don't, I don't know how to feel um, in my heart. And then shows me a heart that's full of marbles in it. And then keeps beating. And then I can feel the marbles. I say, well, none of these are, are um, true. I say, how does your heart feel right now in this cool as a cucumber moment? How does it feel? Bunny actually, it's sort of like Bunny was like sitting up for a moment and then just sort of laying back down and exploring it. Bunny says I'm always, it's like Bunny's always listen, like looking for noises or something because Bunny's ready to pounce. Is kind of what it's like, um, if I hear something, if I hear that, I'm going to go, I'm going to go check it out. I need to go check it out. So it's almost like the heart is always kind of like preparing for something to happen. And so I guess uh, for me to ask Bunny what a calm heart feels like is, is Bunny, <laughs> Bunny seems to always be like ready to, ready to go find things. <laughs> so let's see. I take Bunny and put Bunny into the vehicle, okay? And I'm just putting Bunny in the front seat. Let's just do that and see what happens. Bunny knows what cars are. Bunny knows about this. Bunny understands. And I say, Bunny, are you able to relax? Are you able to sit still? If the car was going for a while, could you do that? Bunny says that um, it's kind of curious about the different sounds in the car, like um, air conditioning and the music and um, different noises. Bunny really likes sounds, noises, um, trying to, um, I mean... Bunny would be a, definitely a, a, the type of dog that wants to run after literally anything, <laughs> like squirrels, rodents, anything like that. <laughs> um, anything that, that sounds like a, an animal that Bunny needs to chase. Because <laughs> it seems like even listening to the air conditioning and radio, it's like um, almost like Bunny is kind of like... Um, understands these noises aren't animals but still kind of um prepared to for there to be something else going on here i say bunny one of the big things is to be able to lay down and relax just let go of the little animal noises there's going to be no animal noises other than mauser in here there's no animals that you can chase in here. Bunny feels very warm when um, I say Mauser's name. And it sounds like they're going to be working together through the experience. Like um, Bunny will be there for Mauser. Mauser will be there for Bunny. 
And obviously you will be there for them too. So it's going to be a really meaningful family experience. And Bunny is glad that Mauser's coming with, just so you know. Bunny really makes a point to say that. I'm, I'm glad I'm, I'm not going to be, it's just going to be just me. I'm really glad that Mauser's going to be there. I show Bunny that this trip is going to, is going to take you a ways. So it's going to be a long drive. Couple of long drives. So you're going to have to be in the car for a period of time. Would you be able to relax? Hmm. I feel, um, just sort of a new experience. It's kind of like a, the mind gets dark in a way, and it's not in a negative way at all. It's like when you fall asleep and just everything goes black kind of thing. It's like sleeping, and it's just dark. <laughs> so that's what I experience right now. <sighs> yeah, feels very relaxing. <sighs> I feel like sleeping. <laughs> I don't, it's almost like um, like Bunny's, the attention span here, like Bunny, Bunny is talking about it, is sharing, but then um, wants to fall asleep now. Like, like it's funny, it's like Bunny's living in the now quite, <laughs> quite substantially. So, okay, we can talk and, and share about this, but now I'm going to go take a nap. <laughs> That's kind of what this feels like right now. And I'm just going to ask Bunny, is there anything else, you know, before you relax, is there anything else that I could do for you? Bunny says, I want you, <laughs> it's like, I want you to open the door and let me go find some wild critters or something. <laughs> like, uh, yes, there is. Take me outside. <laughs> That's what Bunny's like. It's like, we're already past the whole car conversation. Um, so I'll do that. I get a leash and open the door and I take Bunny outside. Oh, yeah. Oh, how exciting. Oh, man. It's like so exciting out here. The smells and the sounds and I'm hunting even. I'm sniffing and it's like super exciting out here. This is the most exciting place you could possibly be is outside. Hmm. Mm. Um, I tell Bunny there's going to be a lot of interesting new smells where you're going. <laughs> you're going to have a lot of new things to sniff. And he says, what? New smells? <laughs> That's what the response is like. Things you never smelt before. <laughs> new smells? What? <laughs> I can't, it's like, I can't even fathom what that, that might be like. But there is, a, there's an interesting twinkle about the idea Hmm. Bunny just feels free right now. We're outside and the sniffing is still happening. A lot of happiness going on here. Um, it just feels like we're in the now again. It's not really about the car ride uh, anymore. It's just about being in the now. And let me just put Mauser. Let me just put Mauser in this scene. I just want to see what happens if Ma we put Mauser in here. So. Mauser, we're all outside this time. So Mauser in the grass and there's Bunny. I just want to see what happens. Mauser puts Mauser's paw on Bunny's nose, like on the snout. And does it several times. Like, But it's not like beating Bunny with the hand. Um, but like pawing the snout, this nose, uh, this part of the dog's pawing it three times and they don't say anything to each other they just look at each other and then Mauser kind of gets on her hind legs and um kind of like wants to play with bunny like kind of like cats like she's gonna land on bunny's face or something 
And Bunny just, just looks at Mauser, who seems to be grinning because the mouth is open. They're just talking to each other in their own weird animal ways. I have no idea what they're saying, but it seems quite friendly to me. They're totally having a conversation. Hmm. And Mauser tells Bunny that Mauser will take care of Bunny as well. As best as Mauser can. Like, Mauser says, I will take care of you. Like, Mauser says that to Bunny. But, um... I will say that when I look into the car and what could be a future scenario, um, Mauser's working through coping through Mauser's own experience in the car. and But Mauser and Bunny are still energetically connected and feeling each other out. And this is entirely supportive thing. I mean, I see you driving, there's Bunny, there's Mauser, and it just feels like a very supported triangle of love. <laughs> and new experiences together, and that's what family is all about. Um, there's a, there's kind of an overall message about the meaning of family because, you know, not, it's like what we want, the ideal experience is always to be perfect. You know, nobody has any arguments, no complaints. Everybody has a good time, whether it's people and kids or people and animals or animals and animals. Like, um, that's what we always want, right? Everybody to get along. Great experience. But actually, the most meaningful family experiences can be the challenging ones, too, where there's support um, shared between everybody um, in order to get through an experience together and all the learning and growth that takes place from that. Um, and I keep seeing the same glowing energy about what um, an awesome, meaningful trip this is going to be for everybody, for you and the animals. It's going to be a very meaningful trip. And it's going to be remembered by all of your souls. So for all eternity, like Mauser, Bunny, your soul, you're always going to have this memory with each other. And it's really special, really special. <laughs> Everything feels really like clean and clear. Like there's nothing else for me to say. <laughs> all right, that was a lot of fun. You just never know what you're going to experience. Like, you just never know. Wow, so Mauser and Bunny going on a road trip. <laughs> well, thank you so much for exploring these sessions with me. It's been a delight. And thank you for allowing me to share them on YouTube. That way other people can experience them as well. Um, I want to wish you an awesome trip. And uh, for those of you watching, if any of you are interested in connecting with me for a psychic session, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Thank you all for watching. I wish you all a great day.